May the Lord bless you, Samuel. Amen. Samuel, can I meet you to pray a couple of minutes time right now? Yeah. Okay, let, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you this evening, praising your name, honoring you, glorifying your name, and giving thanks, Lord, for bringing us this far. Thank you because of your protection. Thank you because of your, the, the gift of salvation upon our nations, upon our people all over the world. We thank you, Lord, because of uh, uh, your love, which you loved us before. You gave your begotten son, Jesus Christ, so that he may die because of our sins. We say thank you, Lord, because of that, uh, that big love. We give you all the glory and honor. Thank you because of the day that we are going, Lord, to share your word. We welcome the power of the Holy Spirit of God, Lord, that he may lead us. The Bible says he's our teacher, he's our guider, he's our help. Lord, we surrender before your princes this evening as we are going, Lord, to open our meeting. Lord Jesus, we welcome you, Lord, to be our uh, our host, help us, teach us, guide us, Lord, for everything that we are going to, to learn from the word. Thank you, Father God, because you already, you have heard our prayers. You are going to bless us. You are going to teach us for your honor and glory. Thank you, Lord, because you, you have heard our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray and receive it. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Samuel. Thank you for the prayer. Praise the Lord. Each and every prayer is so powerful. Praise the Lord. Our God is good all the time. Amen. Now we are going to uh, hear the word of God right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister Rashmi, if you join here, I don't. There is some internet connection up here, some problems. We can pray to the Lord so, to get the connection at the. Um, at the earlier time, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So Amen. I think internet is, uh, sister, uh, uh, Rashmi's internet connection is okay. It's all right. Can you hear me? Yes, Pastor. Yeah. So thank you for joining. Okay. So we can pray to the Lord. Uh, everything, all the things, all the equipments. <coughs> is, uh, it should be going on well. We can pray to the Lord right now. So right now. So normally it's just to work worshiping here. Sister Rashmi was here uh, last three years, I think, okay, with the Shaitan Nations and uh, preaching the gospel here and worshiping, okay. So today, uh, Sister is sharing the gospel. Here. I think it's the uh, second time you're sharing the gospel here, okay, in this section. So uh, Shaitan Nations okay, is very happy to invite uh, Sister uh, Raj Rashmi uh, from India. Uh, to share this word of God to the nations. Okay. So, most welcome, uh, Sister Rashmi, you are preaching the gospel another 40 to 45 minute time. So, all the people are watching online. Um, just I want to ask, uh, please share this gospel message so that all the people are watching, they can also hear this word and our God can heal you. Praise the Lord. So, Sheikh Dhanayar Yuki is very happy to invite Sister Rashmi to preach the gospel. Most welcome. Praise the Lord, everyone. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Indeed, it's a wonderful opportunity that God has given me through Pastor Jolly, who could invite me into his page to present the gospel message. So I believe that I'm just going to be used as an instrument, but ultimately it is God, with the help of the Holy Spirit, going to speak through me so that it is going to help you all in manifesting you, you all in day-to-day -day lives because I'm very I'm going to speak in a very practical way and I'm going to preach in a practical approach. I believe that this message is going to be a blessing to each of you. Before we get into uh, this word, let's sing one beautiful song that is, As the deer panted for the water, so my soul longs for you. As we are singing this song, let us all prepare our hearts and mind, getting thirsty, hunger towards seeking his presence, towards seeking 
God himself. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul did not do you. You are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You to you, my spirit is You are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. I want you. More than gold or silver, only you can satisfy. You are the real joy giver and the apple of my heart. You are my strength. My shield to you, make my spirit deep. You are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. You're my friend, and you are my brother, even though you are our king. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. You all my strength to you, make my spirit dear. You are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. Oh yes, oh Father God. You alone are the one whom we seek, oh Father God. You alone are the one whom we worship, oh Lord Jesus, because you are worthy to be praised, oh Father God. Lord, as this time we are getting together in one accord to listen to your word, to hear your word, oh Father God. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are going to fill this place wherever we are seated with your holy presence, oh Father God. Lord Jesus, we are going to experience your mighty touch and we're going to experience the flow of the Holy Spirit, that heaviness of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, just as it is written in the book of Acts, how the disciples had experienced the move of the Holy Spirit in the upper room, in the same way, Father God, wherever we are seated right now. I believe, Father God, that you are going to make us feel the same touch of the Holy Spirit, oh Father God. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you at the place wherever we are seated. All those who are watching online, I believe, Father God, that you're going to bless them, oh Father God, and you're going to speak through today's word, oh Father God. Love you, Father. Love you, Jesus. To you alone be the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' precious just mighty name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Such a wonderful God we serve every day, every moment, every walk, every step. Everything is overseen by him. And today we stand spotless because we are washed in the blood of Jesus. And such a beautiful thing to be under 
his covering because we are called with so many identities in this world. We are called as someone's children. We are called as uh, uh, based on our profession. We are called by one or the other nature that we have within us. But it is so great a thing to be called as the daughters and the sons of the Most High God. And let us all cherish and let us all be happy. Let us have, carry the joy of God each day for what we are being called about. So today's message is going to be about his presence. So, you know, as I've already told you all that my approach of message today would be practical because in our day-to-day -day life, we are quite acquainted with so many things, but I would like to throw light over some things about our day-to-day -day life on how it has to be, how it has to go. So I would like to share today's message based on one instance. You know, there was a place and, you know, when electricity became available in remote rural area, so there a woman went to a through a great trouble and you know and she went through a great expense to have electricity installed in her home so you all know how it is going to be in rural areas when they are going to when the government decides to launch something people are very excited to have it in that in their places so in the same way this woman was also very excited to have the electricity in her house so then one day it happens like that after a few months, you know, after the wiring was completely installed and the power were turned on, the power company noticed that the home didn't use very much power, you know. So fearing that there was a problem, they sent a meter reader to check on this matter. Why is there no electricity being used in this particular house? So when that meter reader saw that the power was indeed working properly, and then he he asked the woman, he calls and asks the woman, do you use the electricity? You know, the woman replied, of course we do. And what she replies is, of course we do. We turn it on every night to see that the light of our lamps are lit and then we turn it off. So in this, what we can see is there was the supply of electricity, but this woman is turning on the electricity just to lit her lamp and then she turns it off. Doesn't it sound ridiculous? You know, having all of the power that you need and ability to tap tap on it all the time but you're only using it you know only when you know you feel like you need it that time you're trying to use it you know we would never do anything like this because it is it wouldn't make sense for any one of us however i would like to tell you all that we do this same exact thing a great deal when we apply the same reasoning to the power and the presence of God. Amen. You know, we go out of our way. We go to church and we worship, but have very little relationship with God throughout the week. And then we go through difficulties day after day. And only when we come to the end of our strength, we ask for God's help. How many of y'all agree with this thing? We have the power of God and that too, we have the power of God at our disposal and all the time. But yet we attempt to get on our own strength every day. We are a lot more like that woman who wouldn't use her electricity and then we would admit it. So I believe that you all are getting what I'm trying to tell you all. You know, we need to experience the presence of God to experience his power. Amen. To, it's a very wonderful link that I'm sharing you all. It's very basic. But I would like to encourage you all. You know. To kindly listen. About what I'm trying to share with you all. And try to implement it. In your day to day life. So we need to experience. The presence of God. 
to experience his power amen so just like electricity when we remove the presence of god from our lives we also remove the power of god from our life in the book of exodus chapter 12 you know moses said to the lord you have been telling me lead these people but you have not let me know whom you will send with me moses is asking this to god you know you have said he's again asking god you have said um uh, that you know you're telling me to lead these people but who's there with me you know i have no knew by your name and you have found favor with me the lord is telling moses here in verse 13 we see that if you're pleased with me teach me your ways so that i may know you and continue to find favor with you remember that this nation is your people and then the lord replied what the lord replies my presence will go with you and i will give you rest then moses said to him if your presence does not go with us do not send us up from here how will anyone know that you're pleased with me and you your people unless you go with us what else will be distinguished me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth you know then the lord then the lord what he replies you know i will do the very thing you have asked me because i am pleased with you and i know you by name then the moses said now show me your glory and the lord said i will cause all the goodness to pass in front of you and i will proclaim my name and the lord in your presence i will have mercy on whom i ha i'll have mercy and i'll have compassion on whom i will have compassion but he said you cannot see my face but for no one may see me and live then the lord said there is a place near me where you may stand on the rock when my glory passes by i will put you on a cliff in the rock and cover you with my hand until i have passed by then i will remove my hand and you will see my back living my face but my face must not be seen hallelujah you know in this small passage i try to read everything you know we can see how the lord how moses is just be beginning to see god and how it ended by god revealing himself to him and why did all this take place because the lord said i'm pleased with you have you are leading a life which is pleasing god so the number one thing that i want to tell you all according to this verse 12 to 14 you know living in presence of god is very important so god created all of humanity to have a deep relationship with him he simply just didn't create us so that you know we can live we can become something and we can do something and just end our life no god wanted to have a beautiful relationship with the mankind and that's why he got humanity into existence god literally walked with adam and eve in the garden of eden so think about that for a moment let it you know let's just sink it in into this context like how beautifully god walked and talked with adam and eve god walked and talked with adam and eve they were able to completely enjoy his divine presence 
God's desire for your life is to have the same kind of relationship with him. Amen. So he wants you to be able to walk in his presence. That's the basic thing. He wants you to be able to completely walk in his presence. So Moses speaks with God here and simply reminds God of his promises. Are we all doing the same thing? Are we speaking to God and asking God, God, these are the things that you have promised me. So why does Moses do this? It is not like God forgot the promises he made. Moses had a genuine concern here. God had removed his presence from the Israelite camp. There was no longer a sense of a divine, you know, within the nation of Israel at that time. So there are some times when we do something and we lose the presence of God. I don't know how many of y'all have experienced it. The moment you speak a lie, the moment you hurt someone, the moment you try to do something that you walk away from God, instantly you can feel the, you know, that there is something missing within you. That connection is lost. But no problem, the Lord says, though the nation of Israel had lost the connectivity, but yet no, Moses went to God and reminded of the promises. I would like to tell you all that go to God and remind him of the promises, not that God forgot but to rebuild that relationship which you which was lost hallelujah we are not seeking you know more of god these days we are settling for less and we leave our lives there you all believe that right with what we have we are trying to settle with that but you know god wants us to achieve something greater you know i always feel one thing that he is the creator of the entire universe. And he has said in the book of Genesis that you have the authority over everything that's created. So if I'm a faithful of God and if I'm talking according to his, that God kept greater reward and a great measure so that I achieve all those things as long as I live in the world. So why are we settling with the less? If we settle with what we have already experienced with God, we cannot grow when we settle for what we are with God. God, we will, and you know, with him, the truth is that we cannot settle with what we have already had in the past with God. When Moses sought God, he did so so fervent prayer that we know that he sought God by going on the knees. One of the biggest problem in the church today is that people want deep relationship with God. But don't want to, you know, pay the price for it. Developing an intimate relationship with God takes happen over time. It doesn't happen overnight. Notice what God says. Uh, what Moses says to God in verse 13. He wants three things from God in his life. Because his life is he, because his life is pleasing to God, he wants three things. If you all are leading a life which is pleasing to God, then you can ask these three things to God. Number one, teach me your ways. Moses wants to know God's ways so that he can keep following. It's the only when we know the God. When we know the ways of God, we can truly follow him. Are you all saying, if you are leading a life pleasing to God, the first thing that you need to do is teach me your ways, God. Teach me your ways, God. I want to follow you. The second thing, let me know you. There is a direct connection between knowing the ways of God and knowing God himself. Amen. There is a direct connection between knowing the ways of God and knowing God himself. We cannot say that we know God if we do not know his word. It is only when we know God personally 
that we can be called his people. Amen. So the first thing is teach me your ways, God. The second thing is know me your ways. Help me to know your ways. The third thing that I would like to tell you all is ask God that let me live in your favor. Let me live in your favor. Once we know God's ways and once we know God himself personally, then the favor of God can rest in our lives. Amen. So it is impossible for you to have a divine favor of God in your life if you do not know God himself. When we do these things, it opens up our life to the presence of God when we live to know God's ways and know God even more. He then throws open the floodgates of heaven and pours out his divine favor into our lives. Amen. So, you know, I would like to tell you all that living in the presence of God and apart from that is living in the pleasure of grace. Hallelujah. In verse 15 to 17, we can see that Moses again speaks with God here. And ask God to prove his faithfulness. God's presence is connected to the reality of his pleasure. When we can see God's pleasure, we can see there his presence. So if God is not pleased by our actions, he will not be present in our lives. No, God makes a distinction between his people and the rest of the world by showing his pleasure through his divine presence. Hallelujah. If a church is void of the presence of God, then they are not pleasing God. They are totally not pleasing God. God proves his faithfulness through extending his divine presence. God keeps on expand, expanding his presence. If God is not present in our lives, we are not pleasing him. How will we please God? So I am also telling you all, even if you are feeling you are not pleasing God, here are few ways where you can please God. Very simple. In the, in the book of Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 38, it says like this, that we, we please God by loving him. We please God by loving him. So our first priority is to love God. And with every fiber of our being, we are called to love God supremely. And he desires to have the first and the foremost place in our lives. Amen. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 also says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. There is no way that we will ever be able to, to please God if we do not believe in Him. We place our faith in God when we trust Him completely. Amen. Even when life doesn't make sense, that I'm also, if you have faith on God, you know, I tell you, he, he will be pleased. He will be pleased. Amen. When life, when your life itself feels more senseless, that is when you need to trust God the most. When you feel, I don't know where my life is going to. That is the moment you need to say that, yes, I'm going to trust my God himself. He's going to take me to the right direction. Amen. As referred in book of John, chapter 15, verse 14. Jesus told his disciples, you know, they had become friends with God. How? Through obedience. Everything they obeyed. And that's why there was a beautiful friendship between the disciples and God and Jesus. So our relationship with God swings on the hinge of obedience. Our obedience determines the depth of our relationship with God. You know, we please God by praising him. Book of Psalms chapter 150 verse 1 and 2. You know, God 
<coughs> Thank you, Jesus. God deserves our praise for every single blessing. He see, you know, he, he tries to fit to give it to us. You know, praise is simply blessing God back for whatever he has done for you and for me. Hallelujah. When we praise God, it is simply like blessing God. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. We bless you back, oh Father. We bless you back, oh Father God. For whatever, whatever you have given me till today, I bless you back, oh Father. Hallelujah. So, you know, God's back, you know, God, oh, for you know, he's always backing you up for everything that you're doing in your life. Think about that for a moment. Make a quick, uh, you know, a kind of a mental list of three things you need to praise God for. I hope you get it instantly. Simple three things why you want to praise God for. Amen. Today you're alive. Today you're breathing fine. Today you're able to see, walk and, you know, do many things. What else? There are people dying. There are people, you know, so many things happening. But the Lord has given that breath within me. I want to praise God. Today, I'm still following God's word. I want to praise God for that. I believe that if I believe Jesus, I'm going to have an eternal life. I praise God for Jesus into my life. Amen. The next thing is we please God by serving him. God wants you to live, you know, he wants to live, your, live uh, out of your life uh, serving him because this means more than just showing up on Sunday. Church, true service is lived out each and every day, not just on Sundays, in every area and aspects of your life. So God is waiting that you will serve him. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so the only part that Moses is not allowed to see is his face. Amen. So God did not allow his face to be seen because there was still a need for separation between God and humanity. Yeah. That is the only need for the separation between God and humanity is not showing the face of God. Amen. Even the most intimate relationship with God could not bridge the gap. This is why God sent Jesus. Hallelujah. So he could be Emmanuel. What is the meaning of Emmanuel? God with us. The presence of God is with us here today because Jesus lives. Hallelujah. Jesus lives. When Jesus died on the cross, remember, the temple veil was turned into two. The veil was to separate the humanity from the direct presence of God. Jesus tore that separation away. And now we can fully experience the divine presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. There are two things that we must do to see the glory of God. God displayed in our lives. And what are those two things? We need to daily live in his presence. Amen. We must seek his presence in our life. And we need to desire to be, you know, to live with God. Are you seeking more of God each day? And are you trying or, or you're trying to hide yourself like how Adam hid in the past? Amen. So the first thing is you need to daily live in the presence of God. The second thing is we need to daily live to please God. Daily live to be in his presence. Daily live to please God. Amen. Amen. We need to give our every efforts to bringing pleasure to God. Pleasure to God. Are you pleasing God through the way you're living right now? The few questions that I would like to ask you all. Are you living in the presence of God? Amen. Are you living to please God? Are you living to glorify God? You know, this evening, the only thing <coughs> holding you back from deeper experience with God is you. God wants you to know him more and experience him even more. Because he wants to reveal his presence to you. If you want more of God's presence, 
slip out and come up to the altar and ask him for it. Because I tell you all, our God is so wonderful. Our God is so good that he is always there, you know, to reveal himself to us. Let us all close our eyes. And ask the Lord, Father, Father Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Worship your holy name. Glorify your holy name. Lord, I believe that the beautiful relation is built with the help of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Abba, for sending Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for sending Jesus. I thank you, Father, for sending Jesus into my life to fill that gap. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, you deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor. You deserve all the praise. Because, Lord Jesus, you have sent your only begotten son, Jesus, who died for our sins. Lord, many are celebrating Christmas, the birth of Jesus. Lord, let there be gospel spreading over the nations, oh, Father God. Let people know who you are. Let people know that there is salvation through you alone. Worship your holy name. Glorify your holy name. Exalt your holy name. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Glorify your holy name. Exalt your holy name, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Father, anyone who has lost their relationship with you, and if devil is the cause, Right now I speak that the devil has no authority over our lives. Devil has no place in our lives. He has no place to take the life or uh, the place of Jesus Christ in our life. I believe right now in the name of Jesus, the chains are broken. The bondages are broken. I believe, Father God, that you have sent your only begotten son so that we cannot be captives or the slaves to the devil. No. We are the rulers. We are the victorious people. We have won the battle. And we walk with pride because we have won the battle in the name of Jesus. I believe, Father God, that everyone who had known you, who had saved you, but yet fallen in short of your glory and has sinned. Oh, Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, that through the blood of Jesus, let their sins be washed. And Father God, let them be called pure, O oh Father. Accept us, accept us, accept us. We want to build a more closer relationship with you, Father. Lord, here we are. We come to your throne of grace. We come to your altar, Father God. I ask you, Lord Jesus, that Father, Abba, we are here. We are here. Speak to us each day. Lord, cleanse us. Talk to us, O oh Father God. Here we are, here we are, here we are, O oh Father God. Reveal yourself more to us. That relationship is going to go long. Till the last days of our life. We are not just going to keep this good news within ourselves. We are going to spread it in the name of Jesus. Where any many people are going to know for you and accepting this good news that life is going to be transformed in the name of Jesus hallelujah thank you father love you father love you Jesus lord thank you for this wonderful page shake shake the nations I pray pastor jolly wherever he keeps his feet revival take place in the name of Jesus revival take place protect him from all possible dangers protect him from the evil people Everyone who hears the word, be encouraged and let them accept you as their savior, Father God. As he lays his hand upon the sick, let the sick people be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For everywhere he's planning to go, the entire schedule of 2024 be given to thy holy hands. Pastor Jolly is going to reach places where he had never gone before. Nations are going to invite him to share the gospel in the name of Jesus. This page, Shake the Nations, I bless in the name of Jesus to reach out and touch every nook and corner of the earth, oh Father. <clears throat> every people who is going to come here and preach and pray and sing, they're blessed. They are going to be blessed in the name of Jesus. Their barns are going to be filled and they're going to leave the spirit of anointing, impartations. Online ministry is going to be 
nor lesser than an offline ministry, O Lord. As we're speaking of the healing, Father, let prophecies take place. Let people be healed on, online as we are praying, O oh Father. I pray for ourselves also, Lord Jesus. Cover us with your precious blood. Keep us away from all the schemes and the devils of and the plans of the devil. We confuse it right now in the name of Jesus. I believe, Father God, that 2024 is going to be a, a, a glory manifesting year. Oh Father, a year. where the harvest is going to take, populate your kingdom and plunder the hell in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we worship you. We glorify you. Exalt your holy name. Love you, Father. Love you, Jesus. Lord, to you alone be the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' precious mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister uh, Raj Rashmi. Praise the Lord. Thank you for the powerful word of God. We can be wonderful like to Jesus Christ. Wonderful word of God. Thank you. Sister was talking, um, leaving the presence of God. Praise the Lord. And leaving in the presence of pressure of glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How we can do, lead the presence of the Lord. Sister was talking about and about Jesus Christ and uh, the obedience of God, obedience of disciples, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All, the th all these things was uh, preaching. I believe this gospel message it to us. Uh, it is already touched lots of souls. The people are watching online, praise the Lord. Lots of people received encouragement because of this word of God. I believe accordingly. Each and every word of God, whenever we are preaching, our God will touch you. Uh, because we are not preaching the gospel in our flesh. We are preaching the gospel by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because of this reason, our God will touch you. Each and every Bible words, whatever we are talking, praise the Lord, from our mouth, Holy Spirit will touch each and every people. Praise the Lord. This is what I want to say to all the people. I believe that people are watching from different kinds. No matter how many number of people are watching, okay? Uh, we, even if few people are watching, you are getting, you are getting the touch from God. That's very modern. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Never look at how many number of people are watching. Praise the Lord. We are not looking at the, how many hurts, you know, how many people are there. Praise the Lord. How many number of people are standing praise the Lord. in the church, in all the places, wherever you are preaching. We have to look at the God. Praise the Lord. Because the presence of the Lord is not according to the strength of the people. No. The presence of the Lord is coming uh, in your heart. Our God is looking at how you are opening your heart in front of the Lord. This is a very, very important one. Praise the Lord. This is a very important one. So that no matter how many number of people are watching, but this is a matter. Praise the Lord. The people are watching online, whether you are received this word of God in your heart or not. Praise the Lord. This is very, very important. When I start my ch church service the first year, I was so much, you know, that I disappointed. There is no much people. So what will I do? So later on, uh, God has connected the people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was carrying on. I, I was doing my church service. Okay. So uh, God gave the people, we, people got baptized. Now, I want to say, uh, lots of people, you know, that our God wants to touch lots of people. People are watching online. How our God is going to touch? That means um, we should not lose our hope and confidence. Okay. In obedience, you have to do the gospel work. If our God is saying something, we have to do the gospel work. Sometimes you will be alone most of the time. Never give up. Maybe you'll be alone one year, two years, three years time. Praise the Lord. So if I know that was some, the more years you will be alone. But never give up the hope which our God has given to you. Praise the Lord. You have to carry on uh, with your gospel work. But one day in between, our God will raise you up. Our God cannot, commandment cannot be changed. Praise the Lord. What is the commandment? Our God will increase you. Our God will multiply you. Our God will establish you. This is what book of Genesis chapter 12, our God gave the commandment to Abraham. Through Jesus Christ, all the commandment which is coming to you. Praise the Lord. This is what I want to say to all the people. So I'm going to pray. Sister was uh, preaching the gospel uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to pray for sister right now. Sister Rashmi and her family and especially in India, the revival of India in all the provinces. 
especially in the Karnataka. I had been in Karnataka around four years time, five years time. I did my education and uh, higher education in Karnataka. I did my MBA in Karnataka, Bangalore. And uh, I came here. We can pray for the revival of that uh, states and provinces. Praise the Lord. In all the provinces of India. And in all over the all the Asian countries. And all over the nations we can pray. One minute we can pray to the Lord right now. Our God will hear the prayer. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each and every people, especially the people are watching online. And the people are hearing this word of God. Heavenly Father, I pray for each and every people. Father God, when the time of shared this word of God, thank you for your touch, the souls and heal the people right now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, let the sick people receive the knowledge of the healing right now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus. So God is showing a vision, okay? God is showing a vision. The vision is, praise the Lord. Somebody is doing uh, some kind of work, praise the Lord. But uh, you are asking to the Lord, praise the Lord. Yeah, Lilium, what, should, what you should do. But the place you are going, that is not the correct place. Or God is saying some kind of unclean areas, praise the Lord. And showing that one, praise the Lord. Yeah, Lilium. Unclean area, God is showing like that. Okay, something is going on over there. So you have to uh, come out. Even if you are doing the gospel work, you are. Uh, some people are watching right now. And one person is asking to the Lord, what should I do that one? Okay, so that some kind of smile is coming. You have to come out from that bondage and, you know, that one and preach the gospel. This is what uh, our God is showing the vision for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray. Heavenly Father, I pray for each and every people. Uh, in, uh, people are watching right now. Pray, Heavenly Father, I pray for. Thank you for your touching the sick people right now. Any, any kind of sickness is coming right now, Father, especially the swelling the body right now. In Jesus' name, I apply the blood of Jesus Christ right now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, apply the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Receive the healing right in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. The spirit of sickness, the spirit of infirmities, the spirit of anxiety, in Jesus' name, I bind, I cast out right now. God right now, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Some, some people are having the thirsty to receive the gospel right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Read the Bible. Okay. Read the Bible. Then you are getting a God will speak to you. Praise the Lord. God will give the dream. This is what I'm getting the inspiration from the Holy Spirit. God will dream. God will give the dream. Praise the Lord. God will speak to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shikalatu Rakan. Shanta Tapata Kalatu Rakan. Shita. That's the one. That's what I the last time also I already almost the same prophecy I said. Okay. But person is driving the you know that one. You don't know your destination. You didn't reach your destination. Okay. Holy Spirit was showing, praise the Lord, riding a car, praise the Lord, but you don't know with the road, you know, that the, the place already you left, you aren't supposed to reach. After that, you are riding the car in the wrong place. But in the wrong place, you know, that when our God was kept somebody to protect you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is uh, the empty places, uh, but a good land you are reaching. And uh, God is showing somebody come somebody is coming and helping you but you are so much afraid what should i do heavenly father i pray for the right now father thank you for your vision right now in the name of jesus christ i pray for that person right now father in the name of jesus christ in jesus name in jesus name i pray shikallatu rakani shantatta pattakallatu rakani shantatta pattakallatu rakani in jesus name i pray heavenly father i pray for this sister rashmi right now father i pray for in india i pray for her uh, spiritual anointing right now, Father. All the areas, what our sister is doing in Jesus' name, I declare, I declare the blessing right now, Father. I'm going book up Deuteronomy chapter 18, uh, verses 8 right now. In Jesus' name, I bless you right now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray for the revival of India and all the provinces of India revival. Heavenly Father, I pray. I pray for me and Shaitan Nation ministry. In Jesus' name, I pray. Once again more, I pray for each and every people. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.
Hallelujah. So that we can give wonderful clap to Jesus. Okay. Our God is giving the prophecy. Okay. Vision. Our God is giving. That vision cannot be changed. Okay. This is very important. One, okay. So that people, those who are continuing, if you are doing the gospel work, please continue to do the gospel work. Okay. If you are believing God, this God will show you the destination. Nothing to worry. Praise the Lord. No doubt in that. That is what I am saying. I want to say according to my experience. So, May our God bless everybody. Praise the Lord. Let God give vision to each and every people. This is what I want to say. <laughs> Most of the time, God is talking to me. Uh, visions, okay. Visions and dreams, okay. Let all the people get these visions and dreams, okay. Then you can, uh, uh, we can do something more for God. Then you can believe this is a reality. Praise the Lord. Uh, this is what, okay. Um, uh, we are serving the real God. You, you, we will, we will ourselves come to know this is a real God. Right, you know? So, uh, may our God bless everybody more and more in Jesus' name. Thank you, Sister uh, Reshmi. God bless you. So, God bless you. Thank you.